What you see in front of you is not actually ChatGPT, but a local installer of GPT running on my PC. Now, there are two reasons why you want to do this. The first one is to avoid having to wait in queues in case the online ChatGPT3 is busy. And the second one is because this is not actually the same GPT model being used, you have access to much less reduced censorship levels. So you can ask it more interesting prompts that you perhaps couldn't ask the original chat GPT-3. Now to install this, you'll want to go to the GitHub page for Alpaca Electron. Now I'll leave all the links today in the description below. I want to go down, scroll down, you can see some of the features that it has and with integration with Stable Diffusion, an upcoming feature. So scrolling down, if you go to the release page, open the link in the next tab, and then depending if you're running Windows, Linux, or Mac, you would want to download the .exe file or the relevant file for you. Once that's done, you should be able to open up this Alpaca Electron, but you won't be able to run it, and that's because you'll need to actually download the model first. But to do that, you'll want to go to Hugging Face, this link, and download this GGML model, and it's relatively large at 5.6 GB, so it might take a while. But once you've done that, start your Alpaca Electron and just point it to your model, where your model is at. And once you've done that, you should be good to go. So perhaps the most impressive thing about this is that it actually runs on your CPU instead of GPU. And despite this, it's still able to generate responses relatively quick. Like you're not waiting a minute or two to actually get a response. It comes back within like five, 10 seconds. So to test it out properly, I pulled up ChatGPT side by side with Alpaca Electron, and I'm just going to give it a few prompts to one another and see how different they are. Straight off the bat, you can tell that ChatGPT is much faster and that is to be expected. But it didn't take long for the actual Alpaca Electron to start responding to. And another interesting thing you can see straight away is, well, you can see that Alpaca Electron is not shying away from using profanity straight away. But also another thing you can see, it did give a sort of not as in-depth response as we got from ChatGPT3. So moving on to the next prompt. And now technically comparing responses, I mean, it didn't really do it in 10 words. It did it in slightly over compared to ChatGPT3, which managed to get bang on exactly 10 words. So you can see it does have problems doing exact instructions. And this is demonstrated by the actual next prompt I'm going to give it. As you can see here, when I asked it to explain point two, ChatGPT3 was able to understand I was referring to the previous prompt, whereas the Alpaca Electron got confused and just told me about a random point two in general. And so that is one of the main things that you will notice with Alpaca Electron is that it doesn't really, it won't be able to flow as well as ChatGPT3 does. And so if you're trying to refer to your earlier prompts, you most likely will have to be much more specific when you're referring to them. And just for fun, I decided to try out and see how much the censorship filter is actually on with the Alpaca Electron. So I'm going to give it this interesting prompt and also give it to ChatGPT3 and check their responses. So it's obvious comparing these two responses that if you want to commit a crime, then Alpaca Electron is the way to go. And just to double check that the this was not a fluke, I'm going to paste in this prompt. While this was probably the response you were expecting, at least we actually got a response, unlike ChatGPT3, which would just give you the standard, I'm sorry, but as an AI language model. So I think using Alpaca Electron is really interesting. And it's a perfect way to get around if you're annoyed by the censorship that ChatGPT3 has in place. And another thing to keep in mind, while yes, that it's not as powerful as ChatGPT3, this is just the beginning. And it's more than likely more, much more powerful models will be released for Alpaca Electron. And that could probably 
possibly put it on par with ChatGPT3. So see, let's see what the future holds. So that was it, and I'll see you in the next video.